it means. means. Yes, sir. Right. This is Universal Underground Railroad News. Okay, we're about to drop some topics. Um, you know, uh, so Elder, I got a, I got a question. What, um, you know, as far as uh, the funding of the police, right? And uh, the history from the time that you, you know, seen it and uh, the progress and what, sh what should it mean to defund the police, like, um, as far as affecting the community? Okay, the uh, police department is a big, big piece of the different grants from the state and also um, from the federal government. Probably about 45 percent of all the social money. See, those grants are social money. That includes the police department. And all in all, they get about 45 percent of it. Then you got housing and different things like that. Uh, I think that they could shift some of the money. But like her, I don't, I, 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 at this time in America, with as much hate and different things going on in this country, and with uh, these good old boys bought all, of all of the guns, uh, I think it would be naive for us to not have a police department of some kind, despite how racist it is. Uh, we need that force. Uh, to deal with, you know, well, we got people not going to get cool too, you know, so we got people, uh, you know, it's real people out now, I mean, in the community. Uh, so we need that force. Uh, in terms of, uh, in terms of reform, now I think they have to make another policy. But the policy they got now is the wild, wild west, you know, if you look at the movies, you see, Cats chasing through town, breaking up everything, mm -hmm. uh, running through people's stores. The same thing is happening now. The same thing is happening today. They just caught it somewhere, or they made it legal. You know. Uh, so nothing has really changed. I'm talking in terms of the violence that go with it. You know, when somebody comes and kicks your door down, that's violence. All right, guys, we know what we've been trained for. Well, I'll just leave the guns there. Don't worry about them. Did you leave the flashbang, too? I, I think so. Okay, good. All right. I'll watch the hallway. One, two... Oh, 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 oh. Black power to everybody. Free the land. Right now. Right now, at this point, I want to speak of uh, the code of conduct, because that's something we lack. And we used to have uh, a certain code that we, that we went by. But we lost it over the years. We used to respect each other, you know, we used to help our elders, take groceries in the house, we used to speak to each other, but we lost that. So we gotta get back to that. Um, fast, like really, really fast. And also, you know, we need to organize ourselves and conduct ourselves so we can become respectful individuals again because we lost that, we, we, we lost respect. Um, towards each other and you know plus our women they don't really you know respect us as much because how we operate out here in these streets as men so you know we just have to get it together and hopefully you know we come up with a, a, a certain type of strategy or just that idea that would allow us to get a right footing and be able to excel and take our freedom and and, and move on one of the other things that you know we want to bring to the table, um, you know, being that this is going to be an ongoing series, you know, so uh, do expect you know more of this, you know, of what we're going to speak upon. Um, just want to hit the topic real quick upon uh, following up with what the brother said, you know, the brothers um, linking the chain, you know, um, when we talk about policy change. We have uh, amendments and articles that we need to take in place. Uh, I think we're going around the circle too much when we talk about reform. Um, you know, uh, you had the reform of the, the 720 bill that Rick Scott put out funding the police, you know, uh, from uh, $30 million in, uh, in some counties as a whole, we're looking at 400 million. And we're looking at a plethora of over uh, 10 schools uh, that were funded uh, to uh, get paramilitary 
training for these officers, funding the officers with more ammunition. <laughs> Funding the officers uh, with more uh, artillery, whether it be driving uh, and other sources of um, intel and different things of this nature. <laughs> so, with that being said, you know, uh, I'm not going to say names at this moment, but if we're going to have these organizations helping the people out, um, I personally think that we should have that money built into sent into the community. It being a pipeline, bringing, bringing it back to the community. We've made a lot of these organizations that are run uh, by people that are not our peoples. Although we say power to the people, um, we do mean that. So uh, let us maintain our power because we don't want black people mad. We don't want our people mad. Because once our people get mad, we've seen what happens in history. So what we're saying is digress. Uh, from funding so much of these organizations and these organizations are not gonna give us the funds. Uh, we've marched before. <laughs> we've done this plenty of times. As you see, we have an elder here, um, you know, and he's been through all that. So with that being said, you know, we'll follow up with this. Uh, we want po policy change. We want to change these articles, in particular, the 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendment and its articles uh, that are intervened with it. We want to be pragmatic and we want to make this as feasible to the people, you know, so this information is going to be uh, put out in segments. Power, free land. So in conclusion, um, on this segment here, as the brother mentioned, it'll be an ongoing um, series. Um, just giving some information to the community, uh, the people out there in the community, grassroots organizations, anybody who say scholars, our teachers, our skilled and trained soldiers, is to seize the time to give the people some direction and not just direction, but first and foremost, education on how we can not just reform our conditions, but a total change in policy to help the people in order to better themselves and better our surroundings. With